Uh, as a teacher, how do you make STEM subjects fun and engaging? STEM classes are exciting because there are a lot of hands-on learning. Um, we try to make sure that we do a lot of project-based stuff and partner activities, and then everything is tried is based around creating activities that are hands-on. Are there any cool experiments or projects that new students might engage in? Um, we were just talking about how we created a selfie stick and printed it out um, in engineering design, robotics. We create co competitions with each other, um, and they have to build and design robots based on that. So there are a lot of cool different projects and activities we do. In computer science, they get to build an app as part of their final grade. What are some real world applications of robotics that you discuss in class? So we look at how robotics um, is used within different industries and how the coding aspect of the robots can be used across any of the STEM fields. How do you engage or how do you encourage teamwork and a collaboration in your robotic class? In robotics, we do what's called pair programming for the robots. So there is no more than two to three students per robot. We have eight sets, so it lends us to a lot of times having two people per robot, and then they work to code um, together and bounce ideas off of each other on their design. What basics of web design do you teach to beginners? So we start off learning the very, very basics of web design, but we do it in a coding environment where students learn via HTML and CSS. How does the class keep up with constantly changing technology and web development? That's sort of the great thing about um, web design is HTML and CSS have not changed much. They've just been sort of tweaked over the past decade. How can students best prepare for a career in engineering? Take as many classes in the STEM field as possible so you can dis discover which areas you're most interested in and then take a rigorous curriculum in science and math in high school. What kind of tools are used to learn the basics in engineering? Um, we do a variety of things in engineering. Um, we do a lot of design using um, AutoCAD and Fusion and then we 3D print things based off of those designs and build from there. How can students develop problem solving skills using using computer sciences? Um, a lot of our stuff is called project based learning. So they are given a problem and have to create their project and their design based on that. Are there any clubs or organizations related to computer, computer sciences that a student may join? At the high school level right now, um, we haven't, but we are looking at expanding the robotics club that was at the junior high to the high school level.